Okay, today I'm going to show you how to set the failsafe on a D4R2 FreeSky receiver to a no pulse condition output during failsafe. Now, I went through this about a year ago and read the official FreeSky documentation on it and it just didn't work right and finally I stumbled onto some method that worked uh, just by experimenting with it and of course I didn't write it down or document it so uh, I went through the same thing again wasted a couple maybe even a few hours tonight uh, dicking around with uh, trying to get a no pulse output out of my D4R2 following uh, instructions that FreeSky has posted in a few places uh, online so I finally found what works and it does differ uh, three different points of it differ uh, from what their generic descriptions are online so I'm going to go through the process right here on video for you guys hope this helps some of you guys out I'm not sure if uh, everybody else is having you know this same silly problem with this failsafe but it's just ridiculously obnoxious the way they have designed this so uh, let's not waste any more time let's go ahead and proceed on what you're going to do first of all is turn your radio on in this case a Tranis. are you ready for a good time sit back and fasten your seat belts and put the beer can down and let's fly this shit and we're going to go into the uh, model setup so we can put the radio into bind mode so menu and then make sure you're on your model and then page and then I arrow up which brings me up the back side of the menu and I go to bind I'm going to press enter bind will flash and it beeps okay we got an oscilloscope right here hooked up to the PPM output of the receiver and what we're going to do now is we're going to hold the failsafe button I like to use a toothpick hold the failsafe button down while you power it on Oop, paper. Uh, toothpick slipped off there here we go okay toothpick is on we're gonna power it up we're gonna hold it for three seconds one two three and then release the failsafe button now I think this is where a lot of people make the mistake of turning uh, exiting out of bind mode on the transmitter and then shutting the transmitter down when they follow free skies instructions that does not work every time that does not work while the radio is still beeping and it's in bind mode shut the radio off kill it then turn the receiver off power the receiver back on with the transmitter still off and we're going to briefly press the failsafe button free sky says to do it for a second I can't get it to work the only thing, way I can get it to work is to give it one quick click one click like that quickly and then free sky says at this point you should power the receiver down power cycle it uh, bring it back up and turn the transmitter on and you should be golden that simply does not work do not turn the receiver off after pressing that quick press of the failsafe key turn your transmitter on are you ready for a good time sit back and fasten your seat belts and put the beer can down and let's fly this shit okay now you can see we've got ppm pulses coming here we're gonna kill the radio look at that no pulses radio back on are you ready for a good time sit back and fasten your seat belts and put the beer can down and let's fly this shit and there's our ppm stream running again and once again we're going to shut the radio off to simulate signal loss there we go zero output so this has been just a totally obnoxious um, event that I was determined to document for myself this time but then I thought why not put a nice little video together um, that might actually be educational enough to walk somebody through the exact process to have the same success that I have had uh, with getting this bound for a failsafe uh, with a no pulse output so I hope this helps you guys out thanks for watching